Okay, but what are your thoughts on scaping? Scaping? What the hell is scaping? Yeah, I guess everybody does a little bit of scaping here and there, you know? Make sure things don't get out of control. It's such a confidence booster, feeling that silky smooth, knowing that you look good from every angle. You gotta trim the hedges for the ladies. Can't have Indiana roaming around looking for the Ark of the Covenant in your jungles. I run a spa. People come in every day for waxing or shaving or threading or whatever. We throw away more pubic hair every day than could clog every drain in the continental United States. I give myself 20 minutes every morning for some guided meditation led by this monk who spent 60 years doing yoga in a sandalwood tree. I mean, the tapes were a little pricey, but they're well worth it. It's during this practice that I become mindful of my body. I, I can feel where the hair is going the fastest, where it needs to be trimmed the most. We live in a society dominated by men. Of course, they want us to be proper dainty ladies and shave and pluck everything from the forehead down. Oh, no, but they don't grow hair down there. Oh, no, no, it, it's an evolutionary fact. You see, back in the Ice Ages, guys had to get fur to cover their balls, so, you know, make sure the boys could swim around. So, you know, that's why they got fur there. But, you know, women, they don't have balls, so therefore... I, I don't care so much now that I'm in a relationship, but before it was like... I don't know you. I don't know how you're gonna react if I go complete woolly mammoth on you. You know, but now it's more like a trust thing. You know, it's like, okay, I see you all the time. Can I stop trying so hard? That was the interview phase where I was putting on a shirt and a tie. Now, I'm coming to work in sweatpants and a hoodie. After some private reflection, I draw a bath. Oh, I like to drop in a couple mint leaves, get that fresh, invigorating feeling. The worst is when you stare at a client right between their legs as you're pulling that strip off. I usually fall asleep at that point, so I just shave later in the shower. You can hear the sort of faint whimper. <laughs> I am an actor, and when the part calls for it, I do what I must. And right now, the part calls for it. I've been cast in a play set in the 70s, taking on the role of feminist lesbian hippie number four. So naturally, I'm growing my hair out, everywhere. There are these women in Cambodia that have stopped shaving completely in protest, and now they're braiding their armpit hair. I mean. The audience demands authenticity, and I shall not disappoint. See, 